Hello out there. Mr. Corkin here with an overview of our week 17 projects. The first thing is our cross puzzle, which is yellow for this week. And I have a video here explaining that. The other thing we have is not one, but uh, two read alouds. <clears throat> so students, uh, my challenge to you is to listen to both of these read alouds and start thinking about, I asked the questions here, in one, the wild robot, the main character is artificial life. And in uh, Dear Mr. Henshaw, the main character is a boy. So not only do I want you to compare the wild robot, which uh, the, the robot's name is Roz, compare Roz to Lee from Dear Mr. Henshaw. But I also, if you want, you could also compare, if you'd rather compare Lee to Alvin Ho. Uh, I think those are good, um, good strategies that readers use as to compare characters and try to figure out why are they like that? Um, so that's what we're going to start to do for reading, uh, reading workshop. We're going to revisit our book recommendations, push those a little further, uh, for writing again, a video here explaining the, the wrap up of the darn dog letters, uh, also similar to dear Mr. Henshaw. So the, the darn dog letters, uh, the topics are here and you can also, uh, oh, you can also find the assignments to this is in our Google Classroom. So if you go to, I think you can go, whoops, you can go, can I do a new window, new tab. So if you go here and you click on our, I guess, Clever, uh, let me see if this will go to, nope, it's not there. So I guess you have to go to Clever now. I'll try to get this link as, uh, updated as soon as I can. <clears throat> so we have the darn dog um, letters, and after the, once you're, once a student's done with the darn dog letters, the next activity will be a fictional story, a realistic fiction story of your own, and we're going to start with that tomorrow. Um, think for realistic fiction. Think Alvin Ho. A lot of books that that students in class like to read. Those are all um, most of those are realistic fiction. So that's going to be uh, starting tomorrow. Uh, after that is a uh, math, a lot of, we're just, we're continuing the place value for math. Uh, oh, so we're going to have some new workbook pages, homework pages this week. I'll fix that. Oh, we're making a lot of progress with these, um, these cards here. Uh, students are finishing those up and organizing those. Those are nice. Um, which is that? Oh, and then this is the, the last, I think this is the last new thing. If you click on this, it will take you to our um, language bank of hellos. Uh, so the students in, uh, helped me out today saying hello in ways other than English, including Spanish, Mongolian, Japanese, and others. Uh, that was a lot of fun um, to say that. Even if our pronunciation is affected by speaking through masks, it's still, I don't know, really sweet. So um, that... That's that. Oh, yeah, those are the big things. If you have any questions, uh, students or parents, email me. Uh, cool. 530. Heading home. Pretty early for me. All right. See you tomorrow. Aloha, everybody. Au revoir.